What is up guys? It's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming and this is another Java game programming tutorial. So last time we made our quad method for uh, our artist class and this time we're going to talk a little bit about tiles. So to help explain this I'm going to employ the use of paint, great program, and uh, let's see. So this is our screen here. Perfect. Okay, that's our screen, uh, except slightly less rectangular. And I went over, so the way tiles are going to work is that a tile is one texture, and we're going to make a tile-based game. I was thinking uh, tower defense, but I'm open to suggestions, possibly. Um, but so we're going to make a tower defense. So the map, the actual ground of the map of the game, is uh, going to be tiles. So maybe like you know, 20 tiles by 20 tiles, and each tile is a certain width and height. And so I went over this before in my tic-tac-toe tutorial a while ago, so I'll have an annotation to that on the screen. But the way we're going to fill the screen with tiles is a nested for loop. So a for loop inside of a for loop. And uh, the way that works is it's going to be two arrays, like an array of arrays. And the first array is going to be on the left side of the screen like this, going down. So let's say we have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five tiles up and down. And then each of those is going to contain their own five tiles. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And that's how we're going to populate the screen. It's going to go down from the top, going through each of the arrays of tiles. And then each of those is going to draw from left to right. And we're going to fill the screen with tiles. So we're not actually going to draw the screen with tiles this video. I'll probably be the next one or something, but we're going to make the tile class. So go to data and go to new class and we're going to call it tile. And let's see, there's some things we need here. We need uh, the X coordinate, the Y, let's see if I can do this, the width and the height. And we also need the texture, which we're not going to put in right now, but eventually we will. So private texture texture, and then press Control Shift O or Command Shift O if you're in the Mac, and that'll import the slick texture interface. And now we're going to make the constructor for our tile, so public tile, and we're just going to give it you know, float x, float y, float width, pretty much what we just set up, float height and texture texture and we're going to set everything equal to what we just put in here so this dot x equals x this dot y equals y this dot width equals width sorry if i'm going fast here but you guys get the idea this is kind of a repetitive process at this point so we made the constructor from the variables and we set them all equal to what they are nothing really special about it pretty much just the same as our regular quads but with a texture but we're going to expand upon that and add you know tile types and if enemies can go over it and if towers can be built on it and whatnot but for now this is a good base so i'm thinking either next video or the video after that we're going to actually draw the entire map to the screen with different tiles and whatnot um but for now this is pretty good so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time